Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Leo, and then I'll see the ener energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. First card that we have is the gift. One is seven, break it down so we eat. So you guys can definitely be receiving some type of gift at this time. <clears throat> or somebody could be wanting to call you and gift you with something. Now, this is not somebody currently blaming you. This could have been somebody who was blaming you in the past. Give me more Holy Spirit. Yeah, we have lovers. There's a lover here that's going to want to gift you with something. It's like the Ace of Pentacles to the Lovers card. Good confirmation. <clears throat> yeah, unexpected income. Wow. Nice, Sun Seeds. One and five breaking down to a six. So this can be a, a, a romantic relationship, a business partnership. Um, this can be a friend. But somebody definitely wants to gift you with something. It's some type of unexpected income. For some of you guys, it can be a house. House and sudden wealth and message. Wow. Courtship. Come to the sun seeds. Wow. You have the gift card, the lovers, unexpected income. You have house, sudden wealth, and message. The house for me, it could be um it could be a relationship. Um it could also be a proposal. Um it also could mean like stability. Okay. Um there's some type of message that you're about to get. It's about to be a gift for you, okay? Some type of unexpected income is definitely coming in. Gift, love is unexpected income, house, sun and wealth, and message. You guys could be moving. You guys also could be getting a message where you guys are being gifted with a house, okay? Um, but something is unexpected that's coming in, and it's definitely going to be a gift from the divine. <clears throat> yeah, love and money. I can't make it up. Correct the deck on love and money. So some of you guys could definitely be receiving, um, yeah, um, love and money. You could have been waiting on something or something that you manifested. Um, it's coming in. So if you was worried, it's like your prayers are being answered when it comes to love and money. Okay. I see a relationship here. I see unexpected income. I see a house. I see everything. I see stability. I see celebration. I see commitment. <laughs> okay. Something is definitely being gifted to you. Holy Spirit, give me messages on the lovers. So there's an opportunity that's being given to you. A lot of you guys is definitely a financial opportunity when it comes to love and money. Yeah, lovers and journey. <clears throat> With this journey card, somebody could definitely be wanting to take things to the next level. Um, there could have been an enemy um, that, um, that could be trying to come in and stand in the way. There definitely could be an enemy that wants to come in and stop something that's coming in from you. Um, I'm getting no more delays. So if you could have been feeling like you was delayed at one point. Maybe you was experiencing some type of misfortune at one point. It could have definitely been someone that was in your energy or around you that was trying to delay something. Um, but something is changing, okay? Yeah, somebody's in sorrow and despair because whatever they was trying to do, it didn't work. It didn't prosper at all. What's the unexpected income, Holy Spirit? Yeah, thoughts. Somebody is in their thoughts about this unexpected income, this unexpected lover that's coming in, some type of celebration, stability, or commitment that you're going into with this courtship being here. Yeah. Mm -hmm, child. So something could be in regards to children but it's also giving me an energy of um, you. somebody could be seeing you as innocent. Yeah, something is changing. Something is changing for you. High honor. This is my ancestry card. Yeah. Somebody is seeing you as the official person and pathway. Yeah. Whatever this pathway you're about to embark on is definitely going to lead to marriage, um, some high-level commitment. Okay? I feel like you're being guided to take this path, go on this journey by your ancestors. Um, there's definitely an um, official person on this pathway. But I'm also getting with the high on an official person. This is how you're being seen to your ancestors. Like, with all of these badges, it's like they stamped you. Like, I heard somebody earned these stripes. <clears throat> Mm 
<clears throat> Somebody could have been denying this connection, <clears throat> but they can't deny it anymore. What's the house? The house? Yeah, but somebody any thoughts about this unexpected income. What's the house? Okay, the house is clarified with messenger and death. Okay, so we have messenger out here twice. <clears throat> so you're receiving some type of message or downloads. Um, you're being guided. It, um, this could be an environment. This could be where you currently live. Um, take it how it resonates. Something is over, okay? Um... I'm hearing it ran its course, okay? So maybe you guys could be considering moving, relocating, uh, buying a new home. Um, something is over here, okay? Something is over here, but something awaits you somewhere else, okay? The death card, um, Scorpio energy. What's the, um, give me a card on the message of Holy Spirit, messenger. Yeah, we have friend, but we have friend in reverse. So you could be realizing that someone was a fake friend. It wasn't really your friend. Okay, something is coming to an end. You could be realizing that a friend was just an enemy. Okay, this friend could be wanting to reunite with you, but you realize that this friend is just an enemy. Mm -hmm. I feel like somebody has like Lego, um, I said Lego, um, like laser focus. Like somebody, you, I feel like you guys are real focused at this time. Um, you're very cautious of anybody who's trying to enter back into your life as well at this time. Okay. What's the sudden wealth, Holy Spirit? Sudden wealth is, is clarified with the merchant. So something is being given to you. Yep. Something is being given to you. Um, wife, wedding, servants. For some of you guys, I'm telling you, your love life. Some of you guys are um, about to become a wife. Um... For others of you guys, yeah, wife, servant, wedding, and love. Okay, somebody's in their head about a sweetheart. Mm hmm Being gifted um, with a commitment. Now, you know, I know everybody doesn't want to get married, but there are others who are who do. So you just take how it, you know, take it how it resonates. But somebody is being gifted um, with, when it comes to love and when it comes to the um, finances, whoever the sweetheart is. Give me more on this energy, Holy Spirit. What's the lovers and journey? What's the lovers and journey? I just seen blessings. Lovers and journey. Thank you, Spirit. Lovers and journey is clarified with reservation. <clears throat> so somebody could be making plans. Two and nine breaking down to eleven. Um, somebody could be making plans. You know, buying something new. Um. Somebody, uh, or just somebody who, um, with this reservation, with this heart coming out of this man head, somebody could definitely be seeing your worth. Um, somebody is desiring you as well. Mm -hmm. Somebody else could be upset at the fact that this person is desiring you is seeing your worth. <clears throat> What's this reservation, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, libination, pray, religion, donation. Somebody wants to give gift you with something. Um, somebody want to come in and help you. So you've been having problems with like with uh, with like misfortune, your stability, or um, and if there's not just your stability, if you've been having problems in your love life, it's like somebody wants to come in and help you. Somebody want to make it easier for you. Like somebody wants to help you. Like yeah. Murder making, goodness, humanity. Yeah, like something is about to happen for you. Okay, you're about to receive some type of help. For a lot of you guys, I feel like divine is coming in helping you with this something. Something that's unexpected, something that you didn't see. What's this elimination, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, death. I feel like with these these two death cards out here, something is ending. Okay, so if you was having problems in your love life, if you was having problems with finances, that is over with. If you was having problems with friend in reverse, um, with enemy, if you was having problems where you know you felt like you was in unhealthy um, friendships or you was having some type of misfortune or um, 
You always have problems in your love life with your stability. Spirit is saying there's a death card, two death cards out here. Something is a death and reaper. Something is over. Something is over with. Whatever you was experiencing before, that's not your life anymore. You're getting it all new, new. Okay? Because something was faded. Yeah, fate and self-love. Okay? Um, you could be getting a reading done. Um, or you could be just watching this reading and getting confirmation. But with faith and self-love, it's because you love yourself. So you attract new things. Okay? So, it's, you know, when you love yourself and, you know, you put boundaries up, you know, what you accept and what you wouldn't accept. You know, you send a signal to the universe, you know, so the universe is like, OK, you love yourself. OK, you're not going you're not going to um, settle for anything, you know, less than what you deserve. So the universe is like, all right, I'm going to give you what you deserve because you're telling the universe, like, I love myself. I'm standing firm. I'm not going to settle for less. I know I'm a good person. I know I'm a genuine person. I know I mean well. I know what I deserve. It's like basically somebody manifesting without even probably know they manifesting. OK. You have a vision, you got it in your you got it in your mind, it's setting your mind, it's stuck, and you're not going, you're not, you're not overthinking it, you're not um, you know, waiting for when it's gonna happen. Somebody is manifesting. This is manifesting for me. And somebody could have been trying to rob you or, or take something from you, but they can't. Who am I picking up on? You're too powerful. You're too powerful. There's two death cards out here. There's an ending. There's an ending. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's some type of goal that you're about to reach. And somebody is in their thoughts about it. Because mm, somebody was trying to stop you. But no, they can't. You're too powerful. Mm -mm. Why they worry, you over here just like setting your attentions out to the universe and going about your business. And somebody else worried. They're worried. Because mm -hmm, they was expecting you to be lonely, unhappy. What's the thoughts? Unexpected income, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The thoughts is clarified with daydream, good news, and gift. Oh, wow. I'm telling you. Whoever they, whoever this person is that's in their thoughts about some type of unexpected income, um, it's unexpected love, this pathway that you're going on that you're about to receive good news and, and gift under, somebody is realizing that something is over with. You're too powerful. With this daydream, is giving like, um, uh, uh, um, someone is manifesting, okay? Somebody could have been trying to paint some type of illusion and trying to strategize how they can knock you off your path, how they can stop this, okay? Because whatever is here for you, whatever's on this board right now, it was meant for you to have anyway. Only one that could have stopped this or prevented this was you, okay? That's it. You would have been your own worst enemy. You would have been your own worst enemy. Nobody can't stop nothing that, that the divine has for you. Okay, yeah, coach and saving. Mm-hmm. I feel like you you guys are definitely um you guys are very being you being obedient at this time. You guys could be gaining knowledge about you know how to save better, um, how to protect your energy. It's like you being you you you're getting some type of help or being coached, okay. But with this daydream and strategize, somebody was trying to strategize how they was going to plan to keep you on some type of illusion or trying to like, um, like mind read you, meaning to where somebody, um, somebody also could have been tapping in your energy as well. Because we did see the fate, which is like a, a, um, a reading. Somebody could have been trying to pull cards to find out what you was faded for, what's, what's your next move. Like somebody was trying to tap in your energy, but spirit is saying your energy is being cloaked. Okay. Somebody is, 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 is whoever this official person is. Yeah, I'm looking at the high priestess to the chariot, whoever you are. Five of cups. Somebody is in regret. It could be a group of people with the three of pentacles being here. The higher friend. Yeah, the ten of pentacles. I cannot make this up. Yeah, it's like God said, I would, you know, what's for you is for you. Okay, but it could have been, a, listen, this could have been a group of people that was trying to get you experience some type of loss. But see, with the strength cards to the Ten of Pentacles to higher for whoever you are, you held in high regards when it comes to the divine. They consider you a fishy person. Okay, you're too strong. Your willpower is too strong. Okay, your inner power. Yeah, page of swords. It could be a group of people that could possibly be under judgment, okay, for trying to stop something or, you know, dictate how, you know, divine spirit had mapped your life out to be, which is <laughs> right here. It's like somebody 
has a beautiful destiny, you know, a beautiful path, a beautiful journey. And somebody doesn't need thoughts about it because they were trying to cause two death cards. Somebody was trying to cause an ending. Okay. We're trying to cause an ending. But there's a death and rebirth. Mm-hmm. You could have been trying to keep the peace for a while, but something could have been a struggle. I'm getting a ten of wands in my third eye. Something could have been a struggle. It's because somebody was trying to make it hard, but you passed some type of test because with the thoughts, it's um, clarified with gifts and good news. You're about to receive some type of miracle. This is a miracle. Something is a surprise. Something was God. God planned this. Yeah. God planned this. You're about to get some type of promotion or something. And somebody uh, wanted you, yeah, blind and robbery. Yeah, somebody was hoping to blind you so you won't see something so they can rob you or make you feel like something was just too hard, too difficult. Nobody is more powerful than you. Nobody is more powerful than you. I don't care who, I don't care who these people think they are, okay? Only thing they could have got you to do was self-sabotage for yourself, okay? Yeah. Spirit is saying something that's given to you is a promise. It was promised to you by the divine. And somebody wanted you to experience some type of loss when it comes to aid. Yeah, some type of help that the divine giving you. Like somebody wanted you to feel like you wouldn't make it out. Because this woman is crying, legs folded, and there's an arm. It's like somebody wanted you to miss out on an opportunity. No, the divine was like, I'm giving this to you. There's no reason to be sad. There's no need to be worried. Somebody was trying to make it hard for you, but they knew they couldn't They couldn't stop what was destined for you because God already promised you something. So the most they was going to try to do was get you to self-sabotage. And this could have been a group of people, okay? Try, yeah, trying to bully you. Bully you in memory, yeah. Trying to bully you. Hoping that with the memory, hoping that you self-sabotage, you know, um, put, you self-sabotage and miss out on an opportunity. Okay, they wanted to have you in your head with this memory. They wanted to bully you. Somebody wanted to confuse you. They could have been doing confusion spells. They wanted to confuse you. Yeah. Possibly cause some type of accident. Okay. Hope that you miss out. For some of you guys, even an illness. Like, so there's something. It was, people was going hard. Okay. But Spirit put a stop to that. Like, hell no. Hell no. Yeah. They wanted to get trapped in conflict. They wanted to get you trapped in some type of conflict. Yeah, but look at you. You persevere, Susie. <laughs> you persevere. <laughs> yeah, you jumping over a hoop. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. I see it. I see it. I see what they trying to do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me go this way. <laughs> Let me go this way. Ooh. Like, you kept dodging them. Thank you, Spirit. You kept dodging them. Somebody, oh, man. Somebody don't master something. Somebody don't master something. I'm telling you. Somebody don't master something. They don't hear you, Susie. Give me a pop. <laughs> yeah, the death card out here is twice. Somebody was trying to cause the ending. But like with, with, with every ending, there's a rebirth. There's a brand new beginning. So if they try to take if they try to take one thing from you, spare like I'm gonna give you two things. I'm gonna bless you in your finances and I'm gonna bless you in your love life. You might was only asking for one, but spare like, nah, I'm gonna give you double for your trouble. Cause I'm getting the ten of wands in my third eye. Like somebody was trying to make something hard. And you go you this message, you got a message out here twice. This reading is confirmation for someone. Spirit, like, I'm going to give you double for your trouble. Okay? Yeah, overload and justice. Yeah. Somebody is overload trying to come up against you. Trying to come up against you. And, you, and somebody, I'm talking to somebody who's a, like they master something. Okay? It's like, it's so hard coming up against you. These people getting worn out and tired. But justice is here. Skills are being balanced out. Karma will be served. Yeah, somebody wants your apology. Live and learn. Yeah, somebody is living and learning that coming up against you and trying to stop destiny, it, 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 they was going the wrong damn way. They was going the wrong way. And look at you over here being on calm, protest, while a bunch of people trying to go up against you, trying to group other people with, trying to teamwork with other people to stop some type of goal or collaboration that spirit got for you when it comes to marriage some of you guys here marriage and blessings yeah i'm, I'm telling you somebody is about to be married <laughs> blessings and marriage they about to get i'm telling you, somebody about to get double for their trouble okay somebody was trying to come up against someone like you was somebody's supposed to be working with someone 
Okay? And I picked this up a, a couple of readers ago. Well, I said somebody is going into union with someone and spirit is going to bless these two people abundantly so much because whatever their divine mission is, spirit is going to bless them because spirit wants them to bless them so they can bless others. And somebody was trying to, they thought they were trying to get in the way of you, but it's, they were trying to actually get in the way of what God already had planned. See, somebody is too focused on you. You and, who, and whoever this person is that you're going into union with, where they didn't realize that they was going up against God. Because God said, I said that. Who are you? Somebody thought that was more powerful than God. They was putting a lot of effort in, a lot of energy in to try to stop something that was... Mm -mm. You know what? Spirit, what's the house? The house. Ooh. Let me get... The natural disaster <sighs> if somebody was trying to cause some type of disaster when it comes to your home this could be anything this could be like a, a flood a fire you lose your home um somebody whatever disaster if somebody was trying to cause a disaster to your home or to your stability listen that is not going to prosper yeah go because something was faded for you Something was faded. Somebody was trying to cause so many obstacles and cause you frustration, okay? Yeah, they were trying to cause frustration when it comes to your home, your stability. They was trying to make things hard, okay? Mm. All because you decided that you didn't want to deal with this person anymore, okay? I, I don't blame you, so see, look all this, look all this stuff they were trying to do to you. Whoever you are, always listen to your intuition. Always listen to your intuition about someone, okay? Always, okay? You've seen something. And whoever this person is that you've seen as the enemy that was trying to cause all the destruction in your life, you pulled your energy back, and I see why. And they, they literally was trying to, like, they were trying to tear you down. Somebody thought they was God. Somebody thought they was God. <laughs> But God about to make a non-believer a believer after he done after he done preparing your table. The way I look on this table right here. After he done preparing your table, a non-believer is gonna become a believer when God is done with you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, they frightened now. Okay? Frightened. Oh, they frightened now. They scared now. What's this message, Holy Spirit? Message? message yeah saving and it fell out on on death card so somebody wanted you to be like penny pitching okay somebody didn't want it somebody wanted to just like like cause it um like how can i say it like somebody didn't want you to have no saving somebody didn't want you to have nothing this person is receiving nightmares now yeah somebody was trying to I, listen I'm glad we got the sage show going on. This person was trying to come up against something that God planned. Okay? Your, an your ancestors done bad you as an official person. Somebody, whoever this person is, they just can't stand to see you win. They don't. They can't stand to see you win. Yeah, withdrawn. You withdrawing from this energy. Now somebody wants to apologize after learning some type of lesson. Like, you know, be careful. Be careful. Who you come up against, you know? Somebody's a gift to the divine. Somebody is trying to, like, tap into your energy. Spirit is saying that's being cloaked. Yeah, it's <laughs> being cloaked, triumphant. Yeah, success, victory, achievement. Congratulations, Sunseeds. Yeah, somebody else going to experience a loss. Whoever this person is that tried to take this from you, rob you of this, or delay you of it, um... And try to take something from you. Somebody even could have tried to do like a destiny swap. Somebody wanted what you had. They about to experience some type of loss for what they did to you. Because, you know, we all have free will. Okay, we all have free will. Somebody wanted to go up against somebody free will. Somebody also wanted to paint somebody out to be something that they never was. Or because somebody cut them off and they didn't want to deal with them no more. Because they seen the, 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 the darkness on them. They seen the darkness on them. And, and instead of accepting someone's free will... 
and letting somebody go about their business because they're not bothering you, they're not hurting you. They just don't want to, you know, they don't want to kick it. They don't want to rock with you like that. Somebody wanted to go up against that and attack you. This is somebody who constantly gets into people's free will. When something they don't go their way, they constantly want to attack them. They want to attack them. This is somebody who is, they, they, they do this for, they've been doing this for a while. They attack people. But they came up against the wrong one. Oh, Spirit said you was the right one. Yeah, you was the right one. You, 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 you was the right one. What's this withdrawing, Holy Spirit? You was the right one. Somebody need to be put to, put to an end. They need to be stopped. They need to be stopped. Stop bothering people free will. Leave people alone. Okay? Leave people alone. Yeah. Leave people alone. Withdraw is clarified with right. It says ceremony, mystery, and magic. What I'm telling you is I see somebody do it. There's somebody who plays the magic all the time. All the time. Any anytime they feel some type of way, if they even feel it, if they even feel it, because I don't think it's a thinker. I don't think this person is like think logical. If they think logical, it, it will make sense to them. Like, damn, why well, I'm doing that to that person. Why I keep why, why I keep doing magic that people wear? Why I keep doing that? If they thought with their brain, they wouldn't do none of this. But there's somebody that goes off, they run off their feelings every time they feel some type of way. They here they go. Here they go getting the Ouija board out. Oh, I'm about to get you. I'm about to get you. Like, what the freak? What the freak? You're messing with people free will. And that always backfire you. <laughs> <laughs> you and this person is not the same. You and this person is not the same. You out here manifesting abundance and, and love and somebody out here, oh, they, they use their magic to try to end people, delay people, mess up people's lives. Y'all are not the same. Okay? Y'all are not the same. Yeah, there's somebody who want to blind you. Okay? Um, introvert make you feel separated isolate you from the um you know community make you feel alone have you homeless come on yeah they do too much they do too much but i heard earlier somebody spirit about to make a non-believer believer after they see what's this well yeah they frightening now confinement yeah because you have sweet dreams alliance trust honest you was loyal you you was loyal. You. you was loyal. You. That's why you sleeping peacefully every night. Relaxation, adventure. You just chilling. You just chilling, minding your business. Okay, adventure. You could be definitely going on a trip, or you know, just doing something new. Yeah, gain. Yeah, you don't gain some type of profit. Spirit is like, kudos to you. Yeah, leave people alone. Leave people alone. Damn, yeah, they wanted to dominate you. They wanted to control you. And because they couldn't control you, it's like, if I can't control you and you don't and you do not do what I say, I'm going to fix you. Yeah, I'm going to fix you. I'm going to go in here and I'm going I'm to I'm get some candles and some Ouija board on your ass. Like, damn, whoever this third wheel is, yeah, they were strategizing. This is disgusting. But Spirit got something better. Spirit said, you know what? I'm going to get double for your trouble. Let's go for the tarot. So let's see. Yeah, the chariot to the magician. You out here. I told y'all, Sunsee. I told y'all. I told y'all. I see the ten of wands in my third eye. Yeah, ten of wands and two of swords. Somebody was trying to make it hard for you. They wanted you to feel like a stillmate. They wanted you to feel like you were stuck. You was never stuck. All you had to do was take the blindfolds off and see clearly. They can't stop what God already said, what God already promised you. The most they could get you to do is try to self-sabotage. Yeah, Emperor to the Page of Wands. <laughs> you about to be expect look good news and gift. You about to get a you about to get some type of good news and the gift, okay? There you go, Empress. <laughs> they was trying to make it hard for an Empress or Emperor, an Empress or an Emperor to come together. Mm -hmm. They was trying to make it hard for an Empress or an Emperor to come together. Marriage and blessing. Yeah, seven of cups, four of cups, trying to confuse someone. Had them in their mind, feeling like, you know, their chances are slim to none. You know, have somebody in illusion. 
Oh, that's just wishful thinking. That ain't going to happen for me. Somebody wanted you to miss out on an opportunity. Yeah, but there's some type of, yeah, six of wands to the cherry. I'm telling you, son, see, that's that triumphant. Okay, there's some type of success that's coming in for you because you were self-disciplined. You had the self-discipline to keep going and stay in focus, okay? You're about to get some type of victory, triumphant. You're about to get some type of success and achievement. You're being gifted with something. And somebody else is going to regret about it. And like I said, three of pentacles. It could have been a team effort, a team of people that was coming up against you to make things hard for you. Yeah, they was all working together. This is sad. You know, this is sad. It's terrible. It's terrible. But, you know, listen, it is what it is. You know, I'm glad that you persevered. You kept going and you didn't give up. Nine of cups. There's a wish fulfillment here for you. Give me more of this energy, Holy Spirit. Oh, child. That fell right off my lap. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. So something when it comes to your abundance. You're being gifted by the divine when it comes to your abundance. Ace of Swords. Seriously, that's the damn truth. Oh, yes, that's the truth. Okay? There is something that's being gifted to you for the divine. Um, it's also given like um, equal give and take. Okay? You, what you give is, is, is what you're getting back. You know? and it, But you're getting back double for your trouble. Okay, there's some type of breakthrough um, here for you. Okay? Congratulations. Three of swords and a death card. We got death card out here three times. Okay? Um, you could be a Scorpio and this happened to you. Or this could be a Scorpio. But someone is heartbroken about some type of transformation that you guys... um um embarking on you know there's the ending and after every ending there's a, a new beginning you guys with the with the death card out here three times you guys decided to release something okay you you decided to release something and somebody is heartbroken and sorrow about it because you got it you blocked this person off seven of wands seven of pentacles yeah, seven, seven. Something was a warning. You seen some type of red flags about someone. And whoever I'm picking up on, you protecting your investments. You protecting what you built. Because somebody trying to come up against everything that, that you consider your baby that you worked hard for. Somebody, don't, they don't play for you. But they living and learning some type of lesson because they want to come and apologize to you. Okay. King of Pentacles to the Seven of Cups. Yeah, somebody want to have you confused. That's not right. That's not right. And I feel like you ain't do nothing but continue to mind your business, you know, stay focused. And spirit is like, okay, all right, I'm gonna bless you. I'm gonna bless you because I don't listen, Sun Seed. I'm gonna tell you one thing for sure, two things for certain. Love overrides hate every time. I don't care how hateful a person is. Ooh, child. I don't care how hateful a person is. What I have known throughout my time, love is. Is, will always ride over our hate. I have witnessed and, and actually seen and, and, and people do some evil and mean things to me. And I have still shown up and said, hey, I love you. What's up? <laughs> and they probably like, well, yeah, this bitch is crazy. And they, she knew all the things that I did. I know everything. I know everything. Our priests just don't say nothing. You know? Somebody needs to know that love, 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 and it's the highest vibration of all. Love overrides hate any day, any time of the year, okay? Love will always wash away hate. Spirit, God is about to make a non-believer a believer once he, he put them preparing your table because it look large, it look large, okay? It look large, and and this table ain't so big, but but all of these gifts and this and this unexpected blessings, I'm trying to fit on this little old table right here. <laughs> Spirit said that's just the beginning. It's something that's large. I'm talking about large, okay? <laughs> and they gonna watch. Page of swords. They gonna watch you be blessed with this ace of cups. Yeah, all that conflict and drama. All of that is out the window. Yeah, God said, you going to be celebrating. I'm going to make sure you happy. Ten of Pentacles, the higher friend, three of cups. Okay? Because your heart is light as a feather. And somebody wanted to hurt that heart. Somebody wanted to hurt somebody who was so closely to God. God consider you his child. We've seen it. So it's something about your innocence. It's something about your innocence. Okay? Somebody is mean. 
They mean. They, 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 mm -mm. I'm sure you said it. Mm -mm. No, no, no. God said no. No, you know. You work closely with God. God said you're gonna be celebrating. Who, who, or who are they that think they can take this away from you? I've given this to you. All them tears that you cried, okay? When, when people didn't even know, okay? God was the one wiping away them tears, telling you to still, still show up in your Sunday best. You still showing up and having love and compassion, just knowing the filthy things that people was trying to do to you. It's not right. It's not right. But there's a two of cups. There's a union that's coming in. Okay? This could be a Pisces, somebody from your past. King of Wands, a, a fire sign or a Pisces, or you could be this sign. But you're about to be gifted um, with the Ace of Pentacles. You're about to be gifted um, with something. It definitely is. Somebody can have Jupiter and they, um, somebody can have Pisces and they Jupiter. But here, yeah, there's some type of fortune that's being given to you. Yeah, I see you, Empress. <laughs> Give me more of the spirit lovers. Three of swords. I feel like you have two people in your energy, two lovers. Okay? And I feel like whoever these two lovers is, one you're supposed to be married to, and one was just only a karmic lesson that you were supposed to learn from. And somebody is hurt. And I, I'm, I feel like whoever the person that you're supposed to learn from, I feel like they love you too. But the way they love you, it just doesn't sit right with the divine. It does not. It does not. Maybe this person needs to still learn some type of lessons. You know? I heard from attacking you. You know what? Give me more experience. <clears throat> Give me more. Thank you. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Someone who's generous, caring, nurturing. Um, you guys could be a homebody. <laughs> someone who's a business owner. Um, someone who's doing very well for themselves. Okay. This also could have been someone who was attacking you. Take how it resonate. Queen of Cups. Okay, we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or we got and we got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's what I'm saying. Whoever you are, I feel like you still have compassion towards these souls. You know, you still have compassion towards these people. You do. You know, you're still kind. You're still nice. You know, you're very supportive. But you, you know, you might be supportive from at a distance. Somebody know. Somebody is very aware of what, you know, energies were trying to do to them. And they still showed up in love. <laughs> they still showed up. Yeah, nine of cups, you are wish fulfillment. You are wish fulfillment, sun seeds. And with the page of swords, I feel like there's many people that's watching you, okay? Okay, that was curious about you, the hangman. They are seeing how enlightened you are, okay? Mm-hmm. Ace of cups. How annoying you are about when it comes to the when it comes to the divine, when it comes to God, whoever you deem at your highest source, not the swords. They're worried. They're worried and they're stressed out. They want to know how much does this high priestess know? Six of swords, but you being divinely guided to move away the common waters, away from yeah, whoever this judgment and the devil, whoever this person is that's in this energy, they're being judged by the higher ups. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. The eight of swords to the page of wands. They found out that you about to get some good news. They found out that you ain't bonded. You ain't stuck. You ain't stuck. They were trying to bond you so you have you trapped up. No, you're not stuck. You about yeah, ten of cups. <laughs> yeah. This could be family as well. Ten of cups to the six of cups. Okay. Yeah, you're not bonding and stuff at all. Nine of pentacles. Self-sufficient, hardworking. But something about your intuition with the high priestess of the six of swords, something about your intuition helped guide you away from these people, okay? And now you're about to receive new love, okay? New beginnings, new feelings with someone, okay? Something has also some, um, with this ace of cups to the high priestess, giving, something that has something to do with spirituality and intuition. Someone is chosen and handpicked by God. Yes, they are. They are handpicked by God. You're about to get justice for whoever this person was that was trying to make things hard and difficult for you. The scales are about to be balanced out. And what they wanted for you is going to happen for them. Period. What's the nine of swords, Holy Spirit? It's not fair. It's not fair. The Spirit said, I'm going to give you double for your trouble. What's the nine of swords, Holy Spirit? The nine of swords is clarified with the two of cups. 
in the star card. Yeah, somebody worried about you getting some type of wish when it comes to your um, relationship, partnerships, okay? Somebody is looking at you <clears throat> who only has eyes for you, and they're looking at you as like a wish fulfillment. You got the star to the nine of cups. Make, close your eyes and make a wish right now, son thieves. Okay? Because there's some type of unity or partnership, whether it's business, well, confirmation business, relationship, whatever this is. It's healthy bonds. It's healthy relationships. It's like-minded people. Okay? Something about your energy is very healing. Okay? Um, it, it, it's very, it, it gives people hope. Okay? It's very renewal. Okay? So people that, that come from, you know, feeling like they're in this dark, dark place and, and there's no way out. No, something that you do is very powerful. Yeah, two of swords. You help people see, see a way out where they feel like there ain't no way out. Okay, yeah. The nine of swords is clarified with the with the star card to the two of cups. Somebody is like thinking, like, damn, they actually like that person is wish fulfillment. Somebody, somebody feels like you make it look like it's magic. You make it look like it's so easy. It is. It is. When your intentions are pure, it is always easy. How can it be hard if your intentions are pure? It only could be hard if your intentions ain't your intentions ain't pure. But to a sword, something that you don't see, and you're about to get a you about to get success. But somebody with the star cards to the six of one, just like famous. You know, I don't know who watching me. You know, it's gonna be different for everybody, you know. But um this the star to the six of one, just like being famous. Yeah, the chariot. Just some type of success. Yeah, five of pentacles to the tower, four of pentacles, king of cups. Somebody trying to hold on to your energy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's not that's not what it is. That's not that's not that's not how it was designed. By it wasn't set up by God. God didn't call you here to be stuck and people just playing on you, doing magic on you, delaying you, keeping you stuck, having you in illusions. God, somebody's purpose is too big. It's not. It's not. You're not. No, you're not meant to be stuck. You're not meant to be delayed. You're not meant to be broke. You're not meant to be homeless. Okay? Somebody is meant to live in a house, a beautiful home. Okay? A beautiful, healthy marriage. To be blessed abundantly. Them and their partner, their family. Jeez. Yeah, the magician to the three of swords. Somebody is, somebody, it, it hurts somebody the way you manifest. They want to know how do you manifest the way you manifest. Queen of Wands, like, how do you manifest the way you manifest? How do you do what you do when you do it like that? Damn. They watching you, son. Steve. They want to know. Yeah, somebody feel like they lost out, son. See? They lost out. Can I have a card on the um page of sword? Somebody in love. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like you got two people that's in love with you. Yeah, two people that's in love with you, but spirit is saying only one is a better fit for you. And maybe because the, you and this person is on exact vibration. Yeah, the page of swords was cleared by with the seven of wands. Whoever these people is that's watching you, okay, that was trying to like stand in your way or block, you know, your stability with the four of wands, four of swords, spirit said that's coming to arrest because you're protected. Yeah, the death card to the six of cups, whoever this person is from your past, um, that was trying to stop some type of ending, um, so you wouldn't go and have this transformation, that is over with. That is over with. Yeah, ten of pentacles, okay, something when it comes to your finances, somebody's in regret about, somebody, uh, this person could only want to work with you because of finances, and that could be the reason why spirit is like, this person is not a, no, mm -mm. no, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah. Archangel Michael, like, no, 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 no. We're not going to paint no illusions around my child, okay? Around the person that I'm protecting because you got hate in the genders because you want to work with them for your money, for their money, okay? If the love is not pure, if it's not genuine, you can't sit with them. The moon card, okay? Yeah. Mm hmm Page of Pentacles. Some type of financial opportunity that's coming in. Three of Pentacles, two of Pentacles. If somebody think they was gonna come in and juggle you, um, and you know, just have you because of your finances and then leave you out in the cold, spirits of hell no. But now this person wants to apologize. Ten of cups, yeah. Ten of cups to the three of cups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody wanna reconcile with you. 
Yeah. Somebody know that you're gonna be married. Yeah, the three of cups and the ten of cups. This is this is happiness, uh, Steve. Complete fulfillment. When I say complete fulfillment, I mean complete fulfillment. Happiness in every aspect of your life. Three of cups, that's celebration. Somebody can celebrate right now. Okay? Don't do too much. Don't do too much now, Susie. Don't do too much. Be bad thing to come in now. <laughs> but the red cups and the ten of cups, you can celebrate, baby. Okay? You can celebrate. You can celebrate. Yeah, the higher friend to the will of fortune to the lovers. I'm telling you, there's two lovers here in your energy. But only one fit the suit when it comes to the divine that they can go into union with you because the divine sees you as someone who's very innocent um is given very pure you see this child she has a white and pink dress on her love is very pure man or woman you know there's no gender in tarot but something is about to change and high honor the ancestors is giving this to you. You are considered in high honor when it comes to the divine. When I say you bashed up and striped up, they ain't about to play. Okay? Somebody... Somebody cannot believe what's happening to them. Like, they feel like they is madly in love with you. Yeah. They want to go on this pathway with you. They want to marry you. Yeah. They not a pinnacle to the Knight of Cups. I can't make it up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a love offer that's coming in. If you were single, baby, that 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 is over with. That is over with. And you bought the, the sun card, <laughs> baby. You about to be happy, full of joy, and all of that. And if somebody was trying to cause any type of conflict about you getting an offer, ace of pentacles, king of wands to the five of wands, that is over with. Okay? You make somebody nervous. <laughs> you make somebody nervous, says these. Yeah, it's the sun and the star card. I gotta cover her. She a little necky. But these are the best cards in tarot, okay? Yeah, something is happening quick. Yeah. And somebody feels defeated. They feel jealous. The hermit. Mm-mm. About a new beginning. Because they wanted to hold on tight to your energy. And now they hurt somebody. Yeah. Spirit is like, no, that, that's not what we call for your life, you know? Spirit know, see, people could come and show up as any way as they want to. But spirit know somebody's heart and their attention. It's like whoever I'm picking up on, you work so closely with God to where the fact that where somebody got to do like a screening. You know how when you get home for a job and you got to get a whole screening done and, you know, all of that to see if you qualify for the job, you know, the physical, to make sure you, you know, proper health and all of that. It's like somebody had to go through. It's two lovers. Thank you, Spirit. It's two lovers. You know, two people had to go through the screening, okay, to see if they was fit. Because there is two people that's trying to go up, you know, trying to, like, they, they, they want to be a candidate. They want they. They want to be the runner up when it comes to you. And so God was like, all right, you know, we're going to make it fair because we always got to be fair. You know, we're going to do a screening. One person felt that goddamn screening miserably. Okay. I don't know what they could have been doing something to you in the past. They could have been still trying to do something. I don't know. Whatever it was, one felt the screening. Do they love you? I think, yes, they do have others for you. Yes, they do. But something about it to where it doesn't sit right with the divine. Now, the other person, they don't pass the goddamn screen with, with, with flying colors. Flying colors. 44, I just seen. <laughs> okay? Because someone is too protected. Someone is too protected. Okay? 